Welcome back to the Bantu Hour, the home of African comedy. And tonight we've got a special guest, comedian, awesome man. I've seen him perform in many stages. I actually performed with him in some township hall. In, it was at Oz, all about 10. Somewhere. It was a lot of black people. Um, um, <laughs> and he destroyed. Please put your hands together and welcome onto the stage, Mr. Gavin Kelly! Hello. <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Gavin Kelly. I'd like to discuss some things about my life. Uh, I've recently decided that I'm not going to go to Spur anymore for my birthday. <laughs> because the way to sing Happy Birthday like it's a struggle song. <laughs> like, hey, he's like, whoa, shut up. I'm going to give my free ice cream. Making me feel guilty about your job. <laughs> You guys know Tucker 90 Sesame, right? I don't know if you guys know that. It used to be an English program. It used to be Sesame Street, and I used to watch that. But then the SABC just decided to mess with my educational programming. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't send me an SMS, an email, nothing. One, I was just one morning, I was sitting in my pajamas, eating my cereal, waiting for what I thought was Sesame Street, but then I don't know it. Taka Nani! <laughs> And now my childhood innocence is shattered to me in pieces and I'm scared and confused because the bloody cookie monster speaking to me in Sutu or something. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, cookie monster, kukumunati, kukumunati. <laughs> That's cool. I'm always learning things in New South Africa. Like recently, my car broke down, so I had to learn how to catch a taxi. And I like catching a taxi because it's easy, it's cheap, and it's convenient. Like, all you have to do to catch a taxi is point your finger like this. And this is amazing, guys. They stop for this. <laughs> and this is a hand signal to catch a taxi to town. And unfortunately, this is the only hand signal that I know, which is a mess up because when I'm in town, I don't know how to catch a taxi out of town. Because <laughs> now I have to do pansula jazz to get their attention. Like, hey, suburbs, please, <laughs> take me home. <laughs> And sometimes it can be embarrassing to catch a taxi because, you know, because like every time I catch a taxi, I just feel everybody in the taxi silently judging me and wondering why this white man is in here with us. Like, oh, shame on Lungo, what went wrong in your life, huh? <laughs> like, like uh, uh, it's cool about being a comedian. We get to travel, like, like, like Khiso mentioned, like, uh, uh, we once were performing it, uh, in Soweto which was cool, but on the way to, from Soweto, I stopped at a stop sign, I looked to my right, and then I saw a cat. I saw a township cat, guys. Have you ever seen a township cat? <laughs> Those things look messed up, man. They don't look like suburban cats. They don't sleep all day and eat all day. A township cat has lived all nine lives to the fullest. <laughs> like this township cat, like it was missing one eye, like it didn't have straight whiskers, they're like crooked whiskers, and like it was covered in prison tattoos. <laughs> And it, like, it didn't have a normal meow. It had one of those nyalpia meows, like, Mow! <laughs> Mow! <laughs> My name's Gavin Kelly. Thank you so much.